Well, hi, boys and girls. Uh, it's really good to be able to speak to you uh, again. Now, I know it's been a very long time since I've seen some of you uh, face to face, and it's maybe there's some of you watching that I've never met before at all. So I thought it would be a really good idea if I could get some of my friends to help me tell you some things about myself. Um, so hopefully you can watch this video and you can learn some more about me. Did you know that Matt is really tall? So I heard the other day that Matt was the school long jump champion. Matt's birthday is in October. Matt has really smelly feet. Guys, did you know that Matt recently got a cute little beagle puppy called Buddy? Here's a fun fact about Matt. He's absolutely nuts for Star Wars. He's watched all the films at least three times and he's even got some Star Wars pyjamas. When Matt came to South Africa, he was chased by a lion. Matthew Stevens is not his real name. His real name is Stephen Matthews. Matt has flown to the moon in a rocket ship. Well, there you go. That was good, wasn't it? I hope you feel like you know a little bit more about me now. The thing is, I'm not sure that all of those things were true, were they? I'm not sure all of those things were true. I wonder if there was any in there that didn't sound very believable. Can you think of any? I'm sure you picked out going to the moon in a rocket ship. I can tell you I've never been in a rocket ship and I've never been to the moon. And my name really is Matthew Stevens. It's not Stephen Matthews. And I definitely wasn't chased by a lion in South Africa when I went and saw Joel and his family. Thankfully, I was not chased by a lion. But perhaps those things are quite obvious that they're not true. They're quite unbelievable, aren't they? But what about the others? Are there any others in there that you're not sure about? You're not sure whether they're true or not? Well, you might be surprised to know I've never watched any Star Wars films. You might be less surprised to know I don't have any Star Wars pyjamas. And as much as I would like one, we don't have a buddy. We don't have a puppy called Buddy. And I don't even have smelly feet uh, most of the time. Most of the time. So none of those things were true either. But although they still weren't true, it was a lot harder to work it out, wasn't it? It was a lot harder to work out because they all sounded like they could be true. I could have a, a puppy called Buddy. I could have smelly feet. I could have Star Wars pyjamas, but none of those things were true. And you know, this, is, this has got me thinking a little bit, boys and girls, because this, is, this can be a little bit how the world and people out, out there, how they treat God. The world and people in the world and society, maybe your friends and teachers, um, they can say lots of things that aren't true about God. But, and sometimes it's really easy to tell, isn't it, which things aren't true about God. But sometimes it can be really, really hard to work out what is true and what isn't true about God. Now, some of my friends do know me quite well. It is true that I am quite tall. I guess you can just look at me and see that. And it's true that I was long jump champion. And it's true that my birthday is in October. But the things you can trust the most are the things that I tell you about myself. So I can tell you that I was born in Essex and I can tell you that I've been to New York. And you know those things are true because I'm telling you them myself. And the same is true of God. Now, there are lots of people in our church that know God personally, that we can trust to tell us the truth about him. But the person you can trust the most is God himself. And we can be really thankful that we've got a Bible that we can read and we can find out more about God. 
So when God tells us that he created the world, we know it is true. And when God says that he loves us and he only wants good things for us, we know it's true. And when God tells us that Jesus is his son and he came to die so that we could be friends with God again, we know it is true. And when God tells us that Jesus will come back one day and everyone who trusts in him will go to heaven to be with God forever, we know it is true. So when God says things about himself, we know it is true because he is truth. So when we hear something that isn't quite right, or perhaps we're not sure, um, when we hear things about God, we think, oh, I'm not sure if that's true or not. We can ask our parents or grandparents or pastors or youth leaders. Or if they're not around, we can always look in our Bibles and we can see whether God says that about himself we can check whether it's true there's a verse in the bible that tells us about god and about how he there's lots of verses in the bible that tell us that god is truth but this one from psalm 18 and verse 30 says god his way is perfect the word of the lord proves true so all that god says is true I hope that's been helpful for you. I hope you've enjoyed listening to some things about me. And I hope you can remember that God is truth and he can be trusted all the time. Have a good week. Thanks for listening.